Data of every description will pervade our consciousness. Holograms projected beneath our eyelids. Direct retinal stimulation. Welcome to the DCC Museum. Hi and welcome back at the museum. Today's video is a follow-up video on a previous restoration we had done on the coolest mini set done by Philips, the FW68, that incorporates a analog set deck, DCC deck, CD player, tuner, amplifier and two speakers. By the time we did the restoration, which is fairly complicated because there's a lot of electronics in such a small package, we missed the fact that the display is supposed to have a green light behind it. It's supposed to be backlit. We got reminded by that on the comment section on the YouTube videos. So in this video we're going to replace the lighting, see what it's like and also try to upgrade it with some LED lights if possible. So as you can see the display is supposed to show the clock. If we turn on the power it shows the CD or whatever source you select but there is no backlight. So let's try to fix that. There's a lot of screws holding the cover. So the backlights are here. I think it's 12 volt and it's three different bulbs that are burned out. So we have fairly easy access to them. Now the cable is connected to the board so we can remove the entire board so we have easier access to solder. So here are the replacement lights. They came from modeling trains. We also have the blue covers. We're going to replace the original, put it back and then see how it looks like. Temporarily, that's okay for now. Turn off the soldering iron, hook it up, see what it does. Yes, we can clearly see that there is now a green backlight. It's not bright, but it does work. Let's see what the voltage is to see if we can upgrade it to something brighter uh, and how LED would look. Let's turn it on. Measure 
this. Okay, so it's 11 volts. Okay, so that means we can use LED with a couple of resistors and that should be fine. Now, unfortunately, this is not fully open. There are slots for one, two, three regular lights. So the problem with LEDs is even if you take the ones that do a full diffusion, you will see some form of spotting. So as these LEDs are brighter, we will come up with two trying to fit them and tilt them towards each other. It will have to be green LEDs, so we will have to the same green LED backlights. This is a spare board that we have from a broken FW68. It had some traces that we had to repair on, on this one as it didn't like the lights to come off. So we made some modifications, added some resistors, and now two LEDs tilted towards one another. We're going to put that in and see how that works. Here's some dirt in there. You can see that now. Yeah, overall it's, it's much brighter. It's not perfectly lit. You can see a little bit of spotting. But it's for sure brighter. You can see if you compare it to the other original lighting, I think I prefer this one. Another interesting upgrade that you could do is run a extra light to the DCC logo. If you look at the service manual, that was how it was intended to be. For some reason, they didn't follow through on that. This DCC logo has the option to put a light behind it, run a cable and then solder it to the 12 volts. It's all in the service manual. The motherboard is designed for that. So we run uh, temporarily cable we have that done this also at our unit at the museum and then if you put a LED light behind this it looks really cool you see how this lights up I like this upgrade but again that's personal taste so it's really up to you what you want to use in the museum we use the original model lights because we like to keep it as original as possible you can reuse the blue covers if you wanted to go for LED, you would need to use a couple of uh, resistors, two or three LEDs, depending on what type of spotting you would want. This is our backup unit. We're going to leave the LED lights in here, as I like the fact that it's so bright. Hope you enjoyed this video. See you next time.